Good morning. You know, I'm uh, hoping and welcome everybody. I'm hoping the summit will be exciting for you, the content will be exciting. But what I find really exciting is getting updates from all of you on all the amazing things you're doing. Uh, you have amazing people sitting next to you. And what I want to do today is show you how amazing the group here is. Because I'm always amazed, even after having talked to all of you. So what I'm going to do this morning is to give you an overview of some of the things all of you are doing very, very quickly. And I had this problem of there's so many amazing things going on, I had to reduce it to only 100. <laughs> Honest to God. And so I have 100 slides to go through. And I couldn't, uh, trying to cut things out, so apologize. And I decided not to come cover any of the companies other venture capitalists would cover. So the, the ones that are enterprise software and some of the more uh, usual areas for venture capital, still very important areas, I decided not to cover. So I'm gonna give you a whirlwind tour of the other things and only the other things. So we do important companies in all these areas, just like other VCs do, and there's plenty of them. But here's the stuff all of you are doing that's pretty amazing. Health, reinventing health insurance, inventing the liquid biopsy. Well, we'll hear more from Help Me this morning for early detection and tracking of cancer. A whole bunch of you inventing completely outside the medical system, a new vertical stack of how to provide these critical services. Ginger IO is doing mental health, where you get a response in 30 seconds, not three weeks, if you need mental health as an employee of a corporation. Our life coach is doing cardiology instantaneously and at very low cost. Cura is doing primary care the same way full stack services outside of the healthcare system, hopefully provided by employers to their employees. Forwards reinventing the primary care visit, the doctor's office, discerns doing precision medicine in a way that the precision medicine is not practiced today. Bay Labs is doing ultrasound where you don't need technicians or radiologists to do it because the AI does both the technician's job, which is very, very expensive, and the, the radiologist's job. Hotvista is doing the same thing with MRI. Self-driving of MRI is much easier. It reduces a 100-click Windows interface uh, cardiac exam to one click and five times faster. Any of you being an MRI machine, you realize five times faster actually helps. QBio is reinventing the annual physical in ways, and I'd recommend all of you do it. Uh, they're so short of capacity, there's so much demand. Full MRI imaging of your whole body and hundreds of biomarkers, the way a physical should be done. Ontario is making genomic sequencing available in the field for applications like, do you have a drug-resistant malaria? Or um, infectious disease locally. There's a number of companies working on sequencing and making sequencing two orders of magnitude cheaper than the $1,000 a human genome costs and opening up interesting new applications that are very, very different that people wouldn't think of doing at $1,000 price points. Wyom's doing the microbiome, and again, transcriptome of the microbiome, two million data points per poop sample. So, apologize, I'm going very, very quickly, but I did promise I had 100 slides. Uh, medical foods that help with chronic diseases like diabetes through probiotics. These are uh, pretty interesting claims. Alzheimer's disease tracking and cure. 
robotic VR-based surgery, so it can be done remotely. Deep genomics is using, uh, using AI to design a new class of drugs, antisense oligos, so you can up or down-regulate every gene. It should, in my view, over 10, 20 years, be larger than all of pharmaceuticals if it works. And many of these are if it works, but you always fail when you don't try. Open Waters is reducing that MRI machine you see in the corner to a ski hat. I say reducing the cost of an MRI machine to about the cost of an MRI using some mind-blowing technologies. Genelite is actually doing Theranos right. <laughs> uh, and and I, did, I, I wasn't gonna put that on, but I think we should take our issues head on if they're actually doing it right. Uh, they have an interesting model. When you go to a doctor, you should do all your blood tests in the 10 minutes while you're in the waiting room. When you see the doctor, and they do this for free, when you see the doctor, he orders a test, they charge for it and deliver it in seconds. If he orders a follow-on test, he, they deliver that in seconds. Overture Life is completely putting IVF on a chip. And last night we came up with an interesting concept we were talking about. We should only charge for IVF if it works, if you have a baby. That's a whole new way to do healthcare. Bionaut, watch this amazing microbot traveling through a bot's liver, uh, uh, rat's liver. It's amazing how you can control it, put it in, have it do a task inside your body, this is about the width of a human hair, and then come back out. Allogo is using phage therapy given antibiotic resistance being prevalent. There was a great story around phage therapy that actually saved a girl, that was one off. They're systematizing the use of phages, which were actually used long before antibiotics came on the scene. Codes monitoring key variables at home every day, not just one. It's making my favorite mattress I hope to get soon. It actually dynamically controls the temperature, measures your heart rates, your sleep, your motion, and changes the temperature of your bed continuously. When you get an infectious disease, the doctor guesses what it is and goes, runs a three or four day test. Curious, and then if that is not the right infection, they order another test. It can take months to find out what you have. Carious scans genetically for 1,300 pathogens at the same time, overnight. Cypher is using network medicine to decide what your body is doing. So, Humira is a very large drug. Probably $10 billion of it is wasted on patients that don't respond to Humira. They use network science, not biology, to decide if a drug will work on a patient based on their blood biomarkers. I told you, it's sort of crazy, the range of things all of you are doing. Um, sword health, doing physical therapy with much better results than an actual therapist at home with an AI system monitoring your exercise. Because it's accessible, there's much higher compliance with it than you needing to schedule an appointment. You do it at home as often as you want and at much lower cost. Ciolta is doing, uh, treating asthma with probiotics, but they really are uh, going after many types of inflammation with probiotics. Ellipsis is using a voice as a biomarker. They can predict when a person calls into a hospital or a doctor's office for an appointment, they can predict whether they have depression just from the tone of your voice. Flo is creating a treatment for depression using an at-home headset you wear. It's sort of like a treatment like brushing your teeth. And it can be done at home and no drugs, most of whom have all kinds of side effects. Uh, 
Let me hold this up. In my hand is a nephron that Prelis printed. It's the functional unit of your kidney. So they hope to print organs in 3D printed. So given the organ shortages, um, eGenesis on the right is actually doing pigs that can do uh, grow organs appropriate for humans by eliminating viruses, uh, porcupine viruses from organs from pigs. ACMA is pre, pre using trans, uh, um, your, trans, uh, your R, cell free RNA to predict premature birth and many other fetal conditions. Months in advance, you can tell whether a woman might have premature birth, a very, very expensive event. Augmenta is characterizing all the immune response your body's ever had in its history. Let me move on to food. The Impossible Burger, all, all of you tasted it. We can't keep it off the shelves. Far less land, meta sustainable, more sustainable, less cruelty to animals, healthier for you. Egg protein replacement. Miraculous is hoping to change how sugar is treated. The taste of sugar without the uh, bad effects of sugar. Creators building, uh, they have a restaurant in the city building robots that cook a whole hamburger for you. Grind the meat, slice the onions, slice the tomatoes, cook it to your liking, all at far less cost than a McDonald's. Yuko is engineering um, allergies out of foods. Let me move on to sustainability, has gotten a little less uh, Visibility recently. Blue River Company got sold to John Deere, but on the right is the tractor driving. On the right, on the left is how they kill weeds. Eliminates herbicides from agriculture. That's one of the more uh, ambitious goals I've seen, but well worth trying. Adagens building uh, uh, distributed power generation at the efficiency of uh, solid oxide fuel cells with much lower cost. Uh, we even have a fusion project out of the plasma fusion lab at MIT. Biomining. Still doing some solar cells, very ambitious solar cells with new materials. Chemtray is doing cement that actually doesn't emit carbon and hopefully will increase sustainability. It also increases the production capacity of current carbon mills by capturing the carbon as extra weight carbonates. Uh, this, these projects are now off and running. Uh, Lanzatech doing seed, uh, steel mill waste gases to chemicals and fuels. QuantumScape doing automotive batteries. Natron doing Batteries for stationary power plants. And views, of course, doing building glass. Now it's sort of becoming the norm in high-end buildings now. <clears throat> Let me go to transportation. Few years ago, a lone entrepreneur came with a set of paper prints to do a rocket. Now they're routinely launching, or launching, and probably the only company that has had the first four launches successful. Akash is building communications capability in space. Very, very hard problem to dramatically increase bandwidth in space. Voids is providing taxi service for closed communities. Uh, there's a 160,000 age, uh, person age restricted community that they're providing taxi service to in Florida. Goes to doing autonomous in a very different way. And Zendar and Under are actually replacing, trying to replace the need for LIDAR completely in automotive. Uh, Hermes, we just made this investment trying to do Mach 5 travel. 
travel between London to New York in 90 minutes, as ambitious as that sounds. Oh, let me move on to manufacturing construction. This is why I get so excited by all the things all of you are doing. It just blows my mind. The world should be like that. Mighty Buildings is 3D printing whole buildings, hopefully this year. Katera and Wirt are actually building buildings, uh, more traditional buildings, but completely built the way our cars are built in factories. Ori is building furniture that may, turns 400 square feet of apartment space into 800 square feet of apartment space. Um, you don't need your bed after you wake up. You don't need the three feet in front of your closet till just before you need to take something out. Uh, Velo's doing 3D printing. Fiber composite 3D printing. And then very high speed, uh, high volume, low cost digital metal manufacturing. This is a complex process that's done by hand today, investment casting for very complex parts like turbines. Berkshire Gray is fully automating the warehouse, all parts of it. Uh, Vicarious is building robots for the assembly line. It's maybe one of the largest markets, suddenly trillion dollars would not be a lot of revenue if you actually got this right. Open Troms is automating with very cost-effective robots, the, the biology lab. Giant AI, they didn't want me to show a picture. Uh, a new class of robotic arms. They haven't been reinvented in a very long time. This BMW actually has high beam headlights from Sora laser diode, laser headlights. These headlights are amazing, a kilometer out, they can still stay on the road and light up just the road. Blows my mind when you see them. There's some interesting stuff going on in enterprise too, and I told you I wouldn't cover the usual enterprise stuff. Back in the next row, basically uh, Vector doing cybersecurity with AI. The Pymetrics is evaluating a person's raw ability for HR departments with AI. And, 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 and Pymetrics has an interesting thesis. People move jobs in areas so often, their experience isn't as valuable as their raw ability. And that can not be judged from a resume. So really interesting thesis. Wave one, uh, doing video compression algorithms uh, with AI. Uh, mapping construction sites with AI. Analog inference doing very, very high speed AI chips for the edge, so you can build them into devices, very low power, yeah. and, uh, and they have very different approaches to doing it. While all the big guys are doing this too, this is a very, very different analog of approach as you can tell from the name. So analog computing may be back. Financial services. We have plenty of interesting financial services companies. But let me talk about an unusual one. Even, evens out the paycheck for hourly employees. If this week was really rainy, many people who work in retail at restaurants would not make their rent check on, on the first. It's sort of sad state of affairs. For a fixed fee, they let you overdraw, draft, no fees. Um, most corp big banks in America now, as I say, have fine print as their business model. Almost $100 billion in fees, late charges, things like that. They're trying to solve that problem. Catch is doing benefits for the uh, people who are gig workers, no employer and they do need benefits. So really impactful things. Let me go to consumer. I told you there was 100 companies. 
Otter Index is doing art that the AI does. So um, actually last year we had in the lobby some art pieces and almost none of you guessed which was art by an artist costing more than $10,000 and which was art done by an AI. This morning I received a video, I didn't have uh, audio, I didn't have time to put it in from Popgun Labs where I saw the first time an AI compose music, do the instrumentals, and then vocals. Uh, it was sort of uh, a lady's voice, AI synthesized singing the music the AI had composed. Uh, Totemic is doing elder care for elders, allowing them to stay at home and not move to an old age home without violating their privacy with cameras, wearables, things like that. Oral health is trying to solve your oral health. How to brush and floss in 10 or 15 seconds without uh, messy water jets and other things. 3D printing shoes and sustainable shoes. Uh, sustainable tampons. There's Tampon covers all over the beaches in this planet. In fact, every mile of beach has a few of them because they're not biodegradable. Uh, you will hear from Matt Walker later today, but stim science is helping you sleep better. The idea is you can brush your teeth, you can put on this headset, light while you're brushing your teeth, gets your head in a place to sleep better, have more deeper sleep. Sort of mind blowing. Uh, Raxium and Lightfield Labs doing VR displays without VR goggles. Of course, uh, Kidome is doing a lot for teachers. Um, and then a few others. Synthetic Minds is synthesizing provably correct software contracts. Fundamentally, most legal contracts should be synthesized differently. They're starting with blockchain-based contracts, but applies to every other area. Software should be the judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> and program synthesis is a way to do provably correct software with no bugs. Of course, OpenAI, trying to do AGI, very ambitious project, but we are really, really excited to be part of it. So, that's an amazing range. I could have done 50 more of these from this portfolio, so I apologize if I left you out, but I had to stop somewhere, and I didn't think I could cover uh, 100 slides in 25 minutes, but I actually have a minute and a half for any questions you might have. Any questions? Yes. Which areas do you wish you were in and you're not in yet? Well, um, quantum computing is one. Uh, that's an area I would love to find a better solution than I've, we've, lo we've looked at a dozen. Um, another one of my favorites is if you go to any enterprise, all their systems are old and static, SAP, Oracle, even Salesforce. I wish we could do an AI that could look at those systems and replicate them in a modern framework and author applications. So me as a user can write applications. Now the closest we got to that was 30 or 40 years ago when Excel let you do macro language programming and end users could do a real estate application. I think that needs to expand 10x or 100x. So an AI programmer is what I need. Now, uh, Codota is here, uh, I didn't cover them, but they're actually doing AI pair programmer for programmers. So while you're programming, a window sits there as an AI, helping you as an AI assistant to your programming. So some companies do pairs of programmers doing pair programming, this AI can be your pair programmer. Um, so that's another area. 
I, I, I fundamentally think there's so many of these. Transportation systems, I actually think the idea of cars and Ubers will disappear. If you said autonomous cars only in a city, and they're not autonomous 2,000 pound cars, because if you have autonomous cars, you should have 200 pounds of steel for every 200 pound person, not 2,000 pounds of steel for a 200 pound person, and you'd cut steel use by 10x, you'd cut so many other use, uh, energy use in transportation, and you could dramatically increase the capacity of the current streets. So as much as 5x more capacity for current streets uh, if you did that. So that's another dream of mine, to do a transportation system where it's a public utility, and public utility service doesn't mean it's scheduled, it's on demand. Doesn't mean it's a fixed route, it's anywhere to anywhere. It costs a dollar a ride, less than San Francisco Muni does today, and they lose money and this can make money. All the math bears that out. I could go on and on. Thank you all very much. I hope you realize who's sitting next to you and can reach out and talk to all each other about all the amazing things and look out, uh, uh, look for any of these that interest you.